let's get into it. I don't know if you saw this. According to a new survey, more than 50% of Americans have used swimming pools as an alternative to showering. <laughs> American, don't look at me. This is on you guys. <laughs> I'm not one of you. <laughs> swimming pools aren't for getting clean. A swimming pool has only two purposes, swimming and peeing. <laughs> <laughs> More than half of Americans say they've used pools to get clean instead of showering. In response, Axe has come out with a brand new body wash called Chlorine and Wet Band-Aid Blast. <laughs> Uh, we have an important scientific breakthrough to tell you about. A company in Idaho has just developed the world's first potato infused with cannabis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cannabis potato. This is the first potato in history that bakes you. <laughs> Apparently, the weed-infused potatoes are easier to grow than marijuana plants and much easier to dose your family with at Thanksgiving. <laughs> potatoes have been infused with marijuana. I knew something was different about these two. <laughs> Moving on, we have an interesting first from the British Isles. Ireland has just opened its very first alcohol-free bar. Woo! Yeah, yeah, it's a bar. Oh, hang on, sorry. Ah, I'm just being told Ireland has just closed its very <laughs> first alcohol-free bar. How does this even work? Opening an alcohol-free bar in Ireland is like serving an avocado-free brunch in Los Angeles. <laughs> Here's a story from my homeland. A woman in England was shopping recently. When she returned to her car, she found it was covered with thousands of bees. Apparently, the, ble the bees were swarming the car because they thought their queen bee was trapped inside. Here's the car here. Look at that. <laughs> this is what happens if you go online and say anything bad about Beyonce. <laughs> the bees were all working together to rescue the queen bee. You know what the scientific term for that is? Sting operation. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's a clever joke. It works on a lot of different levels. Uh, and this was a fun story. A family in South Africa, South Africa thought that their neighbours were breaking into their backyard and using their swimming pool. So they set up a video camera to catch them in the act. And what they found is this. Look at that. The family's pool was being used by baboons. <laughs> Those baboons totally ignored the no running by the pool sign. <laughs> Here's the worst part, with their swimming pool being taken over by baboons, that family has nowhere to shower. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> we thought this was interesting. According to a new study, people who keep a tidy house are twice as happy with their lives as people who are messy. Woo. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's pretty obvious. Yeah. I think it's pretty obvious that this study was conducted by your mum. <laughs> this study also said, and this is true, on average, a clean person has more sex than a messy person. So when someone says, I'm a neat freak, what they really mean is, I'm neat and I'm a freak. <laughs> <Yeah>. That's right. <laughs> Clean people, clean people have more sex. It does explain this guy's constant smile. 